All right, I'm going to give a little tutorial on how to set and use your uh, cam keys to adjust your view on the fly. Go to controls. It's almost all the way at the bottom above the actual change camera. Uh, they start here with cam move slowly forward, backwards, left, right, up, down. Then there's four tilts and two turns and two zooms. The only ones you have to set are slowly, which when pressed will allow you to adjust the other settings slowly. Yeah, I'm going to set it to my joystick, so I'll make that a thumb switch. There. Uh, forward, obviously, if I push the joystick forward. Backwards, I'll pull the joystick back. Now, since these are analog, they will move slower if I push the joystick less. Uh, up, down, I'm going to do a twisting motion. Right to go up. Twist left to go down. Uh, tilt up and down, I'm going to use a hat switch. Tilt up, I'm going to do this backwards. That's down. That's up. Um, you do not need tilt left and right. That'll just spin the camera and it'll do a barrel, basically. You don't need that. And turn left and right is not needed also because it's going to be in the mouse. I'll show you in a second. Zoom in and out also do not work. And I wish they did because that would be a field of view adjustment. Uh, okay. Uh, you also need to set... What's the uh, free look? Free look in this is under... Yes. The uh, adjustment you will need to set is toggle free move. I already had set, but I'm going to change it to my trigger. This toggle free move will allow us to unlock the camera. And zero free move is not needed because once you shut it off, it zeroes it anyway. Alright, now that we have all those set, I'm going to quick race. And this is the... My settings are on default for field of view, which we can get into in another video. But this is the way the view is set up for us to race with. And I think there's a little bit too much car here. So, when you move the seat adjustments, as I'm doing now, you have very limited movement. That's all you get. Up, down, left, right, very, very slight. I have my steering wheel off as I have one in front of me. I don't need two. And considering I have a tired desk in front of me, I don't need a dashboard. And I'm looking into a monitor, so I certainly don't need the window frame. So, I'm going to enable free move. And I'm going to use my joystick. Now, here's what happens on this track. Left, right, up. Left, right, forward, backwards is correct. On other tracks, it could be any other direction because it goes by the world XYZ. So I'm just going to move this up. Well, forward, and then I'm going to twist. Bring it up. A little bit more forward, light. About there. And I'm going to tilt. And I'm going to put on the gauges. And I think that's just about a perfect view to be racing this car in. Oh, fifth is too high. Now, I could live with this view. Now, this is the view I would race in. Now, the problem with adjusting the cockpit cam is that I no longer have mirrors. And I can't put on mirrors because they're attached to the car. So, let's reset. Yeah, this is the one they want us to drive in with mirrors. Now I'm going to switch to the hood cam. And we're going to adjust again because these have uh, external mirrors on top. And since I move the car, up, down, left, right is not, or forward, back, left, right is not correct. And I've also got some looseness in this joystick which causes it to float around. So now I'm pushing the joystick right to go back and back to go left. And I'm going to twist and go down. As you can see, we're in the low quality interior view because we're not actually in the cop view. But I'm just going to bring it up. Try to get us about in the same position we were last time. Oh, wrong way. Right about. Right about there. So now we have mirrors. We're in a similar view. There's a little bit of clipping going on at the bottom of the screen, but it won't affect me while driving. I still have my uh, slight look to apex. Shut off the speed limiter. And this is a much better view again than we were just racing in. Now, this is a temporary fix because every time I hit escape and I hit race again we're back to this we're back to this and you've lost it all if you want it to stay permanently you're gonna have to go into the cam file 
which is located in your R Factor game data vehicle mod name car name folder and there is a car name dot cam and adjust it there and you have to come back in game see if your digits have worked out to give you a proper view hopefully R Factor 2 does a better job of this as the default to using a lot of cars suck I couldn't drive like this this would be retarded I'd just have to go see this is what happens if you don't toggle free move on all right let's fix this again a little bit over a little bit up sort of a bit of a tilt now back to my view I'm driving around everything's perfect up until the point where you accidentally nudge your mouse because you have free look on so you're driving you're driving driving oh crap Yes, you have your free look on. Your mouse is completely unlocked to look around the cockpit, like so. So that's why I told you to need to toggle on a left and right command, because you can just do it with your mouse. Which this is, it. look, if you could drive your car and use your mouse, you could use this to look during a race. You'd just be very difficult to line back up to the center. I mean, is that center? Is that center? Is that, uh, I don't know. So it may throw you off if you start driving around like this, think something's wrong with your car. Uh, so that's the main disadvantage, is the mouse is completely free to bounce around your desk as you're driving. Uh, so if, you're gonna, if you go with the cam file at it instead of this, that won't happen. But you'll also be locked into that cam file unless you do this method to change it. Uh, now other cars are going to be different. And you, now this, in every view this works. So even, even Swingman you could bring it to a real awesome advantage. Let's see. I can turn up my mouse. You could drive like that. Which I don't know if I could get through an entire lap of Vitus Park like this, but uh, it's very, very helpful to set those keys up. Especially to an analog. If you set them up to a button oh I didn't show you the, the uh, slowly. Turn that off. Or reset. Now I was moving around with an analog joystick, so yeah. you know I can move pretty quickly or slow just by pushing it. But if I hold down the slowly adjustment, which is the button back here, now that's about as fast as I can go. And it's very finite, which is for real insane people who want to get just the right view. If you have a real dashboard on your on your desk gauge or something, you want to get it right below that rim there. That's how you would do it. All right, well, that's that's my little uh, cam adjustment tutorial. I hope it uh, helps you guys out. And uh, this will get past. I was informed this. I didn't even think of it. If you're on a server that limits the view options you have, you know, the cockpit only, bumper only, and you have these buttons set, you could simply go and. Uh, where am I? Well, that's going to look a little odd and retarded, but. There you go. You've now got third person if you really wanted it. You could drive around like that. So, fix your views, guys. I've seen them on YouTube, and they're all poor. Thanks for watching.